Well, that title should certainly attract viewers, though I do kind of wonder how many people will hit the dislike button without actually watching the video and hearing my points. But anyway, this is a video that I've had in mind for a while, and with Digibro once again in the middle of some anti YouTuber drama, I figured now is a perfect time to make the video so I could leech some subs from the conversation. Plus, you did bring up some interesting points that I kind of want to expand on and make my own somewhat kind of related. I will admit I'm not 100% convinced of the points I'm going to make here, but I wanted to at least start this discussion, so feel free to try proving me wrong or arguing. In fact, I welcome it here. So, as the title said, I'm saying that we should not support the anime industry, and this is because of the way they treat their product, the fans, and most importantly, their employees. Anime as a medium of entertainment should succeed commercially based off its quality. Looking at America for comparison, consider the movies that Hollywood makes. If they make a good movie, people spend lots of money to see it or buy it, and the studio behind this movie makes money. But with anime, it's not that simple. Part of the income does come from people buying or watching the shows, but this is only one piece of the income. Due to the niche market, the profits from anime often come from figures and other similar products, or advertising the source material. While I'm not opposed to making money from these things, I am when it causes the quality of an anime itself to suffer. For example, read the manga endings. I really value completed stories, and I'm not really interested in manga, so when I don't have much money to spend on entertainment, why would I want to spend it on an incomplete story? And sure, some will say that there will be a second season if the first sells well enough, but I counter that by saying I don't want to buy only a piece of something just because a full story might exist at some point in the future. They should have made something that was worth me spending money on to begin with, then I would have considered buying it. And speaking of buying stuff, now time to move on to everyone's favorite topic lately, anime streaming sites. Now, anime streaming really is a wonderful thing, especially since the market has moved in such a way that many of the new shows coming out are legally available. For anime where it's hard to know how much you like a show until you actually try it, I find that a try before you buy model is important. Otherwise, I'd end up buying something only to find out it's a boring show and something that has happened before. So having streaming options is needed for this. But many of the older anime aren't available for legal streaming. As Digibro brought up in his recent video, Evangelion is not available legally for streaming and on Amazon it's over $100 for a series. And yeah, there is no way I'd pay that much money for a show that I hadn't seen. And I would guess that most people are like me. So only a very small minority of the hundreds of thousands of people who have seen the show actually did so legally. And this is far from the only older anime that's impossible to find legally, especially if you want to watch English dubs. And going back to the newer anime, if I wanted to watch them all as they came out, I need subscriptions to Crunchyroll, Netflix, and Amazon Strike, plus Funimation if I want that dubbed, and then Netflix does not have things out immediately. So between all those, that would be over $30 a month, and yeah, that's more than what cable would cost me. So yeah, I'm not going to subscribe to all of those. I do like Crunchyroll service because they have a lot of old and new shows that I do find it worthwhile, but Amazon Strike is too expensive for too low content, Netflix doesn't air shows weekly, and Funimation site is just a mess so that even when I try to give you the money, I can't. Plus, Netflix and Amazon don't have free options to watch with ads like Crunchyroll does, so there's not really an option if you want to be in the middle where you want to watch things there, but don't want to pay for it, but are still willing to support it in some way. Maybe they could try something like Hulu where you have unskippable video ads, but you can still watch the shows for free, and yeah, I can't believe I'm actually praising Hulu. And recently I've seen people complain about those who support private sites monetarily, but it kind of makes sense to. They offer a product that I and other viewers want, so it doesn't seem crazy to pay money for a product that you enjoy, even if they get their product from less than legal sources. Plus, there's a lot of talk about respecting the laws that say pirating is bad and hurts the industry, which maybe this is true, but the anime industry is not really known for respecting laws either. If you are like me and make YouTube videos that use clips from anime to help make your points, then you probably dealt with false copyright claims on your videos, either automatic flags or just having videos taken down. Plus, I've had friends who have had their videos taken down despite the fact that they did not use clips or even anything from the anime in their video. This happened recently with my Perfect Blue review, which really does suck for me because this is my most popular video, but apparently someone who owns it saw it and said, YouTube take this down, and yeah, now it's gone. I'm probably going to upload it to VidMe soon, but for now it's not up there. And it's not like this is just an automatic flag YouTube put on the video, that I would understand. It was someone from Madhouse telling YouTube to take it down. I get that laws are different between America and Japan, but if you're going to deal with international companies and submit a legal request for a company to do something, you should at least know the difference between the laws in the two countries. I know that I'm not a big channel and I've made very little in ad revenue, like $5. No, literally, that's what my AdSense account's balance is. But their disrespect of the laws is robbing me and others of ad revenue, so I find it hard to care if pirates take revenue away from the industry. And now for the biggest reason I'd argue against supporting the anime industry, and that would be how they treat their employees. With their various numbers cited, it seems common for new animators to make around the equivalent to $10,000 a year while working well over 40 hours a week, and even as they get more experience, they don't make that much more money. Outside of, say, voice actors and senior producers, or whatever they're called. And so, yeah, that's $10,000 
$5,000 a year, that's less than $5 an hour. And if you're in America, minimum wage is at the minimum around like $7.30. Many places it's more. And again, let's look at U.S. companies for comparison. There has been outrage over companies treating employees poorly here. Take, for example, Walmart, who there's common outrage at for their poor treatment of workers, both those they employ directly and their suppliers. Some Google searches will tell you a lot of stories about this and the calls for boycott accordingly. And while it's certainly not true that everyone is calling for a boycott at Walmart and that some of these stories might be exaggerated, I doubt there are many that are saying that we should support Walmart's business practice, especially how they treat employees. So then why are we making all these videos about why we need to support the anime industry? Comparing it to Walmart, anime studios pay less for us the employees work terribly long hours, and this is for an actual skilled craft, not just jobs where you can get pretty much anyone to do these jobs. And this is causing animators to leave the industry quite quickly. According to an Anime News Network article, which I will take a screenshot or cite in the description, assuming you remember to put that link, only about 1 out of 10 people who entered the industry end up remaining. And in most cases, the money made on a successful anime goes to the production committees, the investors who back the anime to begin with, not the overworked people or the studios. And there have actually been several people who have died from overwork on anime. Most recently is Kazun Nori Mizuno, who is most known for his work on Naruto, Bleach, and most recently, Welcome to the Ballroom. So is this the type of industry we want to support? Where skilled animators are barely paid anything, overwork terribly, and even sometimes die because of how hard they are worked? I find this something hard to support. It's not like all this legal streaming is helping much. The story about Kazun Nori Mizuno was actually very recent, only a couple months ago. So yeah, that's my reasons not to support the industry. I'm not necessarily calling for a boycott with this video, partly because I don't know enough to do so responsibly, but with all the talk about supporting the industry, I want to get another opinion out there. So let me know what you think down in the comments. I know I normally say that because I like getting comments, but I really do want to have a discussion here, so yeah, let me know what you think. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.